Now, you saw the, the crowd that um, MP Charles Griffith had this morning. Um, he, in his interview, talked about some of the successes that he would have had well as a representative. What is the um, alternative that you offer that um, would persuade the people of St. John to vote for you on January 19th? Well, the alternative that I have strikingly is the fact that I'm approachable. I'm someone who is committed and will get back to people. I've already told them I am not going to make promises that I cannot keep, which is one of the things that they have often complained about the current representative. And I have ideas. The representative would have spoken to projects which, not that he initiated, but were brought in national projects. When he speak about the bus service, that would have been broader national project. When you speak about Pool Woods, broader national project, the Clean and Green program. When you speak about the water issues, he was not out there lobbying for water when we were not getting any. That's a broader national issue. We all pay taxes and so forth. Those are broader national issues. When you speak about the roads, a lot of those projects were in the pipeline before. So what I would ask person, when he comes to you, ask him what is one project which you initiated on your own to benefit the constituents in St. John for the last three and a half years. And you can't find one. Uh, so. Okay, Andrew, sorry for cutting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he had a number of young people with him um, this morning, and I think during the last election campaign, the young people came up. How important would be the youth vote as against the older people um, in the constituency? So would you be relying on both? Well, definitely, and, and especially appealing to younger persons as well. And we do have the support of, of young persons, and they're interested, because a lot of those same young people have been disappointed over the last three years in terms of the current um, administration, and in particular, the representative Charles Griffith, because a lot of them would have worked with him in the last campaign, and they felt as though he abandoned them. And they just want someone who is willing to talk to them, hear their concerns and work with them, which they said from the ones that I have spoken to, that they recognize that they can put their trust in me. So I have that support as well. The old, the old folks, the Dihardens, uh, will you be getting them to come back out and probably reclaim the seat for the Democratic Exactly. Party? Well, that is definitely on the go because whenever I go canvassing, they always tell me um, I should have run in the 2018 election and they're going to give me that support now because the Democratic Labour Party, I am from St. John, I was born and raised and, the, and all of my achievements have come from St. John and they've seen over the years how I have worked with David Thompson, with Mara Thompson and the supporting the Democratic Labour Party over the years and they think that this is my time and they're willing to give me the opportunity and they also recognize that it is not just my time but it is time for the Democratic Labour Party to reclaim St. John and for us to work together to speak out for the needs of the people of Barbados. Uh, Mr. World, last time um, in the 2018 election there were only two uh, boxes that went to the Democratic Labour Party. Um, what was the strategy for flipping all the rest of the boxes to take back the, the, the constituency for the Democratic Labour Party? Right, well, and that would have happened because the the LP supporters were not pleased with the way how the candidate was selected in the last election and they showed it in many of them not coming out to vote. But that is, the, the approach now is different. We are asking the Democratic Labour Party supporters to come out and many of them have signaled that they are coming out. So if the DLP base in St. John, which is a base generally of about 4,500 votes, come out strong on election day on the 19th of January, we will flip this constituency and reclaim St. John for the Democratic Labour Party so that we can have a voice, a very strong voice in Parliament representing the people of Barbados.